Hi everyone, welcome back to Custom Carving. Just going to do a short video now on how I do my beard hairs on this uh, Spirit Birdhouse. Also how I, I put the uh, shingles in the roof just to make it a little bit more realistic. You would not believe how much time these, these things actually take to, to, to fully carve and get done. Uh, I've managed to uh, find myself a little workstation in the shed now, although I still do need to uh, make a dust extraction table, um, which hopefully will be coming up in future videos. Um, I'm gonna be using my Dremel 4000 with the cut saw flame burr for the first part of this video, um, just to put the main sort of lines in where I want things going. Um, and please remember guys, if you do like um, what you see, there's gonna be lots more videos coming out, so please like and subscribe. So here we go, first part with the cut saw flame burr. Um, just putting in the, the main lines. Remember when you're doing beards and things like that, it's important not to keep the lines fully straight because again, whose beard is fully straight? Um, no one. Um, and again, just here, remember to try and avoid the screws if you can because you will damage uh, the burr that you're using. So just gonna be putting the main, line, um, main lines in this bit. I'm gonna fast forwards uh, until we get to the next part for you. Also guys, if you can put in the comments um, whether you prefer this sort of voiceover style of video or whether you prefer the original style of video, what I was doing, where I was talking you through it as we go along, just so we can hopefully make the content more relevant to you guys as we go along this journey. Again. When you're doing beards and things like that, just remember not to just keep them straight. Try and cross over your lines. Um, again, for me, it just makes it feel a little bit more natural uh, with the waves that you would get in hair or texture or fur or anything like that. If you keep them straight, when you look at it, it's just gonna look like straight lines. I've had a few people ask me where they can get the cut saw burrs from. Um, now in the UK, Amazon's probably the best place. So I've put a few links um, in the description as well. You will find with the flame burrs, because they're so popular, as soon as they go on, they sell out. So make sure if you see them, you order a couple at a time just so you've got them in stock. Um, they do do a range of burrs. The main ones I use is this one, um, and also the cut saw taper burr. Yes, they're more expensive than your typical burrs, but you do find you get a much longer life out of them. Um, this one that I'm using now, I think I've been using three months and it's still working fine. The cheaper Chinese ones you tend to find work, but they only work for a period of time. So there we go, that's the, the, the main beard lines that I wanted to go in, so I'm just moving on to the roof now. Um, I think it's important when you do the roof that so it looks natural, um, that you have no square edges. So on this bit, I'm just gonna try and make a few sort of um, indentations um, to rough it up really, um, just feathering everything out. Um, so it looks like clean wood, but also it looks slightly misshapen because again, with whimsical sort of bird houses and things like that, you don't want anything to look perfect really, because it'll just take away from the, the whole thing. So here I'm just um, working away at the edge, trying to get some curves in there, some natural curves, um, and then I'll move on to doing the main lines for the shingles. If any of you guys are liking the videos as well, please remember to join us on the Facebook group, which is Custom Carving UK. Um, we, again, we're hoping that as this channel progresses over the next few months, there's going to be competitions on there, uh, where there's going to be prizes, um, as well as obviously lots of other projects. All the projects I do, I share with you guys, um, so you, can, you guys can do them yourselves at home. Um, and, and we'll see how this channel progresses over the next few months. But please like and share um, and, and join us on Facebook.
So that's the, the main side sort of bulked out now. I'm just moving on to the main shingle lines. Um, now it's important that when you do it, you do them reasonably evenly. But again, as you can see, the, the lines that I've drawn in are wavy. I don't like anything to be straight when I do these um, sort of whimsical sort of um, wood spirit birdhouses or anything like that. So you can just see there, um, again, using the cut saw flame burr, just putting in the, the main lines at the moment. And then what we're going to do is feather those away underneath so that each layer um, looks like it's on top of the other. This makes a big difference to any, any of these sort of bird houses or any houses that you're making, um, rather than just looking like flat wood and it will really make the piece pop. Again, just take care that when you're drawing the lines on that you avoid any screws because if you hit a screw, you'll, you could potentially wreck your bird. There we go, that's one side done with the main lines. There we go, once we've feathered it away, this is roughly what you should look, what it should look like. So all I've done there is where I've cut in the main lines, I've feathered away the wood um, that's underneath it, so it looks like actual shingles. Again, I've done the same at the front. Uh, now I'm just cha changing the burr to this aluminium um, sort of um, cutter burr, because I find that that's easier to actually put the shingles in with. Um, now just remember guys, when you're doing this, you don't want any of the lines to be straight on, otherwise it'll look silly. So just in between my lines here, I'm just putting the individual shingles in. Again, they don't have to be perfectly straight, and actually I think they look better when they're not straight. So just putting these in on both sides. The reason I use this aluminium cutter as well is I'll also move on to the beard in a second once we finish these shingles on the roof. Um, and I find it's one of the easiest ones to use to make the beard look more natural and, and actually put some hairs in with it. So I'm just putting the straight lines in there for the shingles. As you can see, I'm doing it roughly in the center of each of the other shingles. If you've ever seen them on roofs, that's how they tend to be placed. So it just makes it look more natural and it gives you a better finish. Just going to speed this bit up now for everyone so you don't have to just listen to me and the uh, the dulcet tones of the Dremel. Just moving on to the beard hairs now. Again, just using that same uh, cylindrical aluminium cutter and if you can see I'm just gradually going over each of the larger pieces uh, multiple times um, initially sort of in one direction and then what I'm going to do is move on in later on in the video and actually just go in the opposite direction as well I think it makes it look more natural uh, whenever you're doing beard hairs guys I know it's tedious but the more of these you actually do the more natural it's going to look when you varnish it when you sand it down that's how you get that natural looking appearance. So again, I'm just gonna fast forward this for you now. And then we can have a look at the finished product. So there we go, just about coming to the end of the beard hairs now. 
Um, I hope you've uh, learned something in this video. Again, I'm no professional, but uh, these are the finished results. I'm pretty happy with them. If you've liked the video, please like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.